वेरी पूर दैट्स वाई स्टेज बाय स्टेज शिफ्टेड टू जेडीएस टू कांग्रेस ऑल इलेक्शन टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू So, Vidana Parishat and local body and corporation, all election is win Congress. Now, it's out of seven, six, win. All credit goes to Mandya people, sir. Sir, if you notice, Mandya is the Okaliga belt and you are very close to Sidhara Maya. Do you, do you, do you see that Okaliga is backing D.K. Shri Kumar or Sidhara Maya? I am very close to Sidramaya, I am very close to D.K. Shukumar, I am close, very close to Congress party. So, Wakkaliga, sir. Wakkaliga's MLAs yes. are backing Sidramaya or D.K. Shukumar? So, no, no, no. So, Sidramaya and uh, D.K. Shukumar, both of Congress leader, 100% party will take decision, no problem, sir. Because uh, D.K. Shukumar said that he is son of Wakkaliga. Whenever he campaigned yes. in Mandia, uh, under, Mysore, under they said that Wakkaliga yeah. are bank behind 100% truth, Wakkaliga leader emerged. And uh, Mandia and uh, World Mysore is gay, gain more seat, no, 100 percent. But it is because of D.K. Shukumar, sir. D.K. Shukumar and both Sidramaya also. Okay. So, World Mysore leaders, both are World Mysore leaders. So, now is, that is not important. So, party in future, public in Karnataka, 100 percent. Whom you gonna, whom, whom you gonna watch? Inside, inside I will speak. Okay. Thank you so much. This is Chalwaraya Sami, where uh, uh, six out of seven seats won by Congress in Mandia, which is a fourth of JDS. It was been breached by Congress and they have won six out of seven seats. All right, there you have it. Uh, we, we heard Sagai speak, speaking to former Minister Basuraj. I'd like to say this again, none of these leaders who I'm running to try and get their voices uh, off, none of them are wanting to divulge any details. You see all this action and all the anticipation here of all the Congress, uh, you know, supporters, but not anyone here knows exactly who is going to be the chief minister, knows exactly what's going to be the decision inside, what are the possible scenarios that will play out. None of that is clear. Uh, but, but it is interesting to note that uh, this is for the first time that we see that the Congress fully composed and controlled. They're keeping their, uh, you know, opinions to themselves, not revealing anything because they do not want to damage the prospects of their party uh, at this point. Of course, it's, it's well past a victory point. They're comfortable, happy and rejoicing. Also, possibly, we'll be celebrating inside. This could be uh, uh, one a CLP meet and also to a party. You never know. Uh, but, but for sure, this, is, uh, is, uh, this, this was the place that the Congress wanted to be and they're finally here. So they're going to be very balanced with uh, how they carry forward with their approach. It's going to be um, treading on thin, thin line. Um, in fact, from what I hear is that there is a lot of clamor for D.K. Shukumar to continue as the Congress president. And if that would mean that, uh, that, that they might not give him this chief minister's chair because he cannot handle both positions. He can't be the KPCC president as well as the chief minister. Which is why there's a lot of talk and buzz about Sidiramaya as a likely CM candidate for the Congress. I'm going to cut across to our reporters as well. Anaga Keshav who's also tracking those uh, movements right here at the CLP meet. Anaga, over to you. Uh, we see Sidhu cap, DK cap, but ultimately High Command decides. Malikarjun Karke is not here. He's right now seating in Delhi. He's interacting with the Gandhis at the High Command. They must have already made their decision, you know. Even before the run-up to the elections, even before victory, a decision might have been made. You know, Nabila, as you, uh, you, know, you know, as you very rightly said, D.K. Shukumar has always been a businessman first. He's an administrator first and that is why he even, you know, he was given the post of KPCC president because, you know, because he is first an administrator and then a politician. So him aspiring for a CM, can, uh, you know, CM candidate alongside Sidra Maya and given the fact that Sidra Maya has a lot of clout, you know, our sources are also telling us that most likely Sidra Maya will be chosen as the next chief minister's post. But, you know, our sources inside the Shangri-La are also telling us that most likely one-to-one, -one, you know, one-to-one -one sort of meeting will be conducted by the observers with, you know, you know, with the, you know, with, uh, with the MLAs who have won. That will mean that Sushil Kumar Shinde will interact with the MLAs one-on-one, -on -one, not through any secret ballot paper voting or not through any, you know, uh, not through any resolution that will be passed to the High Command. But the observers will speak to the MLA one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and and uh, and that will also be confidential. And with that, they will decide who is going to be the next chief. 
Chief Minister of Karnataka, but indeed Malikarjun Karge is discussing with the Gandhis as well. But you know, given the fact that you know the you know the kind of political leader Siddharamaiah is, I don't think so. He is going to keep quiet if D K Shukumar is appointed as the next CM. He is the elder man. He is politically senior. Siddharamaiah most likely will be chosen as the next Chief Minister. Is what we're hearing through our political circle. But it is indeed to be wait and watch what is going to play out because remember, if the Congress does not make a decision by today or tomorrow, the BJP is going to go all up in arms, tarnishing the Congress's image for not being able to make a decision on who is going to be the next Chief Minister. So even for Congress, the optics is also going to play a very important part for them. If they cannot decide their next CM phase in one or two, you know, the BJP is going to, you know, is just going to take their cudgels up, saying that the Congress is now unstable. That is why they are not going to decide. So even keeping the optics in mind, most likely the CM phase will be out by today or maximum by tomorrow. Right. All right, Anaga, thank you very much. Uh, there, of course, our reporters here are fully positioned. We're keeping a hawk eye on all the happenings that will that, that will transpire right here at the CLP meeting in Shangri-La Hotel. Uh, it's very important to note uh, that DK Shivkumar at this point uh, is a man with strategy. Siddharamaya is a man with mass appeal. Both the titans here are vying for the same spot uh, as Chief Minister for Karnataka. Siddharamaya, of course, is his last electoral battle. He said that this is his last time he's going to be contesting. So he's really hoping to retire gracefully, uh, being the chief minister maybe. D.K. Shivkumar, on the other hand, has put all his energy, his might, his reputation, his ego on the line. He is known as a strategist. Uh, and he, uh, under his vision, they've got the Congress party to this level of victory, a thumping majority that the Congress has won. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens right here at the CLP meeting. All this buzz around right now uh, on, on who exactly will be the chief minister this scenario will play out until 1 a.m. likely. It could go on till 1 a.m. But let me tell you, a deputy chief minister, not either of them are going to be happy with it. It's a non-constitutional post at the end of it. Maybe we'll have some additional responsibilities, but neither Sidhu nor DK will be okay with the deputy chief minister's post. So it's got to be someone uh, who will be made the CM for the full five-year term and the other who will be pacified with some nice mighty portfolios along with the KP KPCC president's post.